Early afternoon here in Hawaii, we're on the island of Oahu, and you're watching the Billabong Pipe Masters in memory of Andy Irons. We have Wiggly Dantes still finishing off a stellar rookie year on tour, taking on Jordy Smith from as a surfer is back in South Africa. As we'll get back to that with Wiggly Dantes pulling in to a clean little inside pipe tube, and he's out. This is Jordy's wave, grabs the rail, pulls into the barrel. Nice, clean exit there for Jordy Smith. A little wraparound cut back to finish off. So Jordy and Wiggly have to uh, play second fiddle here. Oh, look at that. Nice little combination of maneuvers right there. To he can get off to a great start, but he needs to uh, keep on pace through the Pacific leg, Fiji, Tahiti, and also finish strong here at Pipeline if he's going to be a world title contender. I totally agree. You know, especially with the heavy left-handers. Uh, you know, places like Sunset Beach, Jordy, you know, because... Tatiana's had some success out here competing at Pipeline before, so uh, we'll dive right into all those stats when the women hit the lineup. But it's a perfect day for them, Ross. Backdoor, a good size. Still a couple of scary ones, but they're taking a look at this A-frame. He might actually go left here. Well, this one's standing up pretty well for Wiggly. Just a class act in this lineup. Grabs that wall, maximizes his time behind the curtain, but doesn't get the vision that he would have liked. He would have liked that wave to just cup out a little bit more as Jordy Smith finds a wave on the back door. It's so funny. They both have, you know, for Wiggly, he has goofy foot-itis. I was really impressed with his wave selection. Um, you know, Bruce just didn't look like he was quite clicked in to back door in the conditions, but uh, that was a scary draw on Felipe as well. Uh, you know, amazing for him to get the win. And Jack Robinson, such a tough draw here. I love the way Felipe surfed. I think we all talk a lot about his performances in Waves of Consequence and Heavy Waves. This isn't the biggest pipe day, obviously, but he looks super comfortable in that lineup. There is just on 15 seconds to go. Wiggly, with priority, is having a look at a nice A-frame here. He's opting for pipe, and he tucks up into it, takes a high line, almost punches through the clamping curtain, but doesn't quite get there. But a great heat for Jordy. Great heat for Jordy, and let's hope He's inspired the other competitors to really go for those big <laughs> turns when they have all that speed to burn out on the open face. Because a lot of the time, people get so focused on the barrel here, they'll kick out.